city rules will kick in that will put San Diego's nightlife to a screeching halt. Both county and city leaders announced sweeping new public health rules to help stop the spread of the coronavirus. Good evening, I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Lindsay Pena in for Kimberly Hunt. Our 10 News reporter Anthony Pura is in the gas lamp where bars and restaurants are preparing for those changes. Earlier this evening, officers made their way through the gas lamp district, visiting as many bars and restaurants as they can. They handed them this notice, letting them know about the new laws that will take effect at midnight and last through the end of the month. City officials on Monday laying down strict new rules to combat the spread of the coronavirus, directing bars and nightclubs to close their doors at midnight. Restaurants will still be allowed to prepare food for delivery, takeout or drive through, but dining in will no longer be an option. The mayor says it was a tough decision, but it ultimately came down to protecting people. It's about saving lives and this is about taking all the steps that are prudent and necessary. In Pacific Beach, known for its vibrant nightlife, signs outside of bars saying they're now closed. The gas lamp district also noticeably quiet on the eve before St. Patrick's Day, traditionally a big day for bars and restaurants. My friend's visiting me right now and we planned on like going to all these restaurants and touring around the city, but it feels like something's going on, something's stirring up and it's pretty weird that we can't go anywhere out to eat. Officers began visiting bars and restaurants, telling them about the new rules and asking for their cooperation. We understand the financial hardships, but what we're asking for is think big picture, think about wellness of this community. The city is also banning gatherings of more than 50 people. Officers will be enforcing that along with the new bar and restaurant rules. Whether it be a complaint driven or if officers see a bar that they know is supposed to be closed, they will use a health and safety code section to do enforcement. The fire chief also saying the coronavirus has forced first responders to change their safety protocols. Taking the extra precautions with the masks, the goggles, the gowns. No longer are we sending all four people in to assess this until we get a better idea of exactly what we're dealing with. The council president says the city council will call an emergency meeting on Tuesday to pass a comprehensive package aimed at relief for people hit financially by the coronavirus. The package will include protections for individuals and businesses against evictions, as well as several actions to ease the blow of coronavirus. Anthony Pura, 10 News. New restrictions.